Hi there all and welcome to the interview of the Kilimanjaro team. This is our Young Farmers Kilimanjaro team who will be uh, travelling next year to complete their challenge. Um, so we'll just do a round the table. Uh, please introduce yourselves, your Young Farmers Clubs and what you do for an occupation. Fraser? Yeah, so hi, my name's Fraser Russell. I'm in Weston Hegel Young Farmers Club and I work for NFU Mutual. Hi, I'm Sally Kirkpatrick. I'm a member of Stirling Strathendrick and Strathkelvin Young Farmers Club, and I am soon to be graduating University of Glasgow as a vet. Hi, I'm Sally Mayer. I'm from Turriff Young Farmers, and I work at home on the family farm. Hi, I'm James Campbell. I'm part of Loch Lomond Young Farmers, and I'm a farmer. Hi, I'm Christy here. I am a member of Mairns JC and Strathmore JC Young Farmers and I am a property manager uh, for a letting agency in Dundee. Hi, I'm Stuart Dunlop. I'm from Mockland Young Farmers and I'm a self-employed joiner. Thanks everyone. Um, so uh, an exciting question next. What has been your top three favourite young farmer competitions to be part of and that's um, right from when you've started young farmers so we'll just go in the same order Fraser. Um, aye, so for me it'd be probably top one talent spot um, both Lancashire and the West um, I think that's just a really good thing to, to be part of and like the full club's involved and um, done that since I started um, Kind of similar to that as well, the other one would be concert. It's a bit more kind of light-hearted and less serious, uh, less competitive, I suppose, and I uh, quite enjoy doing the sketches in the concert. And then, other than that, probably just any sort of football competition, uh, club level or uh, national as well. It's, it's a good laugh taking part in the, the football. So, aye, those would be my three things. I also um, really enjoyed being part of Talent Spot, some of us being up on the stage. Um, I also really enjoyed the handicrafts um, it was nice working part of a team um, and being a bit creative and uh, I enjoy hockey so I really enjoyed representing my club at playing hockey as well. My top three would be um, our Grampian Rally. I always like working as a team with all the club and getting younger and older members um, enjoying such a good day. Stop judging from club level to rally and things like that just um, just being generally around stock and spotlights um, for me is also a good good night and a lot of fun. I really enjoyed um, concert because it was lighthearted and a bit of fun. And then the competitive streak came out of me during talent spot. I really enjoyed it. And I really also enjoyed Mr and Mrs. I was never very good at it, but I always enjoyed it. I really enjoyed, uh, my main ones are tug of war, um, just trying a new sport and getting involved in something that I didn't think I would have before Young Farmers and um, Country Cooks is another one that, that I love cooking but it's a bit of a challenge getting mysterious ingredients um, and just any sort of quiz night with Young Farmers This was actually quite a difficult question because there's that many different competitions that happen throughout the year but the one that stand out for me would be the, the Usher County Rally it's the highlight of the year for me um, so yeah, bringing out your cattle from show day to all the sports in the afternoon, and then the grand finale to dance at night is just aye, it's one of the best ones. Um, then of course second would be talent spot. Um, I've done ten concerts and ten talent spots from Auckland, and every one of them has been brilliant. Uh, and then after that would be cattle dressing. I always enjoyed that right from a young age. Um, and still do a lot of it. So yeah, they were they were my top three. Goodness me, what an active, crazy bunch you are. Very busy indeed. Well done. Um, James Campbell, Loch Lomond, we'll come to you. So what are the three charities that you have, as a group um, have chosen to climb for? So we started off with the uh, RSABI, as it's quite important to us all. And then we also picked the Doddy Weir Foundation and the Crohn's and Colitis UK charity. And... Uh, 
Great stuff. No, we're, we hope to hear a lot more about your work and um, sort of tying in with these charities going forward in the next year before you head to Kilimanjaro. Well done, guys. Um, we'll come to Christy here. Um, why did the trip catch your eye? What led you to apply? Um, well, for myself, I, I've always wanted to do an international trip uh, with young farmers just to make the most of what they've got to offer really. So um, Kilimanjaro in particular, because um, it's an active trip and it's I know it's going to be mentally and physically challenging for myself, but it's not only beneficial for me um, reaching different goals, but um, it's beneficial for the charities that we'll be raising awareness for and uh, fundraising for as well. And Sally Mayer? Um, I, yeah, also an international trip with young farmers um, has always been something I've wanted to do. And um, Kilimanjaro, as a family, you've always talked about wanting to do it. A few of us have always done it and I've seen it and I thought none of the others are in young farmers. So if I managed to bag a place on the trip, then I would be the first one that done it. Maybe only one that uh, managed to do it in my family. So um, that was quite a exciting um, thing to have done. I personally found. Good stuff. I can imagine everyone going on the trip is pretty excited and looking forward to it. And um, we'll go to the other Sally now. Um, you were given a place, Sally, on the trip very recently after someone had to pull out. Could you believe it when you got the message and what are you looking forward to most? No, I couldn't believe it. Um, I was so excited um, and I'm still kind of processing it um, just now. Uh, I'm really excited uh, to travel to a new continent, um, but I think mostly I'm excited by the challenge. Um, I think the bigger the challenge, the, the sort of greater the, the sense of achievement, and it's certainly going to be a, a big challenge for us all, sort of both mentally and physically. Um, I'm also just really excited to represent SAYFC abroad and to raise awareness and money for such great charities. Superb, superb. Now, uh, Fraser, you you can uh, you can be honest here, but how how much research have you done about Kilimanjaro? Have you done any at all, um, and about the climb itself? Um, I certainly did some back at the time when we were going to be climbing it uh, pre-COVID and uh, sort of twenty twenty. But I had a wee look as well earlier on, and, and uh, I sort of researched up in the the mountain itself. So um, it's actually the highest freestanding mountain in the world. Um, stands at uh, 5,895 metres, so that's about eight and a bit Tinto Hills for anybody from Lanarkshire that's uh, watching, but uh, it would be a lot steeper than that, I'd imagine. Um, but uh, the route itself that we are going is, uh, let's see, so the Lamosho route, if I'm pronouncing that right, so it's 35 mile route that we take, um, involves eight days of trekking uh, to get there, and basically, I think the hardest part of it will be getting acclimatised to the, the altitude and then um, the lack of oxygen. So but the way it works is we've got the Sherpa guides and go to like a number of different camps and um, go to a certain altitude on a certain day and then you can come back down to the camp to, to stay overnight and that kind of lets your body um, get used to the lack of oxygen and get acclimatised. So I think it will definitely be a big challenge um, for us, but... Now I'm hopeful that we'll, we'll make it to the top. Great stuff. Um, we'll move from Lanarkshire now to Ayrshire for an answer. Um, Stuart, you'll all need to be ready when you're out there um, to both you know, physically and mentally support each other during the climb. Do you feel prepared yourself enough you know, to be able to, to provide emotional support uh, when required when climbing? That's the, the million pound question, is it? I uh, guess no one will really know until, uh, until we're in the thick of it and by then it's too late. You just need to go on with it, don't you? Um, I know personally I'm quite a kind of positive and upbeat kind of, kind of person. So I'll just, you know, try to make sure you pass that along to anyone that's feeling down or struggling. Or, um, but the thing is, we're all, we're all there as a team. So, you know, anyone that might be struggling a wee bit or, feeling the effects of the, the walk, you know, we'll all be there for each other to, to help each other and, and boost morale and 
just keep everybody happy and keep everybody going because everybody wants to finish it. You know what I mean? It's we've all signed up or we all put our names in because it's something that we all want to do. So yeah, I'm I think I think I feel I feel ready, but we'll see. <laughs> Good. A motivated, positive bunch. Good. Um Fraser or sorry, Sally Kirkpatrick from Stirling. Will your family and your friends be able to help you train this summer? Yeah, I think so. I mean, my family are super supportive and I've got a group of friends. We started uh, bagging them in rows in, a few years ago. So over the summer, I mean, we try and get out most weekends and we have a few sort of hiking trips to sort of Fort William and Abbey Moor planned. So, yeah, that's definitely going to help with training, keep me, keep me going. Cool, good stuff. The other Sally? Yeah, so I've signed up for the Three Peaks Challenge um, later on in the summer. So that's definitely something that will help with my training this year. And doing that with some friends and my family, again, we like love kind of just getting up into the hills and um, clear space. So, yeah, we'll have hopefully lots of walking trips doing uh, for training for next year. Good, good. Um, back to Lanarkshire, have you been training in preparation at all, Fraser, yet? And if so, who with? Um, I, we have managed to, to meet up as a team um, this, sort of despite COVID and, and climb a, a couple of Munro's, uh, which is good. So we'll definitely be looking to, to do more of that going forward um, as we get closer to it. I know that, as the guys are saying, a lot of the rest of the team are keen in climbing Munro's, so I'm sure they've been uh, bagging loads of them over the, the last few while. But... For me, I've just been um, sort of going to Les Magos tug of war practices recently, so we've got them uh, twice a week. So I don't know. Hopefully, that will help uh, <laughs> carrying some of the heavy equipment or something once it gets to the steeper bit. Great stuff, James. You're quite used to living near Bens and Monroe's. What have you been up to? Well, yeah, I've been very fortunate, as you said. Uh, I still have a very active lifestyle, gathering up in the hills and stuff. So, uh, even during COVID, I didn't didn't make a belly. So I'm still I'm still fit. So uh, yeah, I'm still all out with my dog and keep fit. Plus, we all got a chance to meet up and climb a few Munros last summer. So that, I think that helped everybody. So as long as we can keep doing that in the future, we should be tip top. Good stuff, yeah. Fingers crossed we get uh, a chance to, to all get together and practice again this summer going forward. Uh, do you think a trip like this is needed as soon um, as soon as COVID-19 is a thing of the past? What benefits do you think you'll get out of it personally, Stuart? Oh, it's I, 100%. It's something that we'll all be looking forward to and it's something that we need to have to look forward to because there's been so many different things cancelled over the last year and a bit from like parties and birthdays and to like social gatherings where you like from things to local shows to even the Highland show where you meet people and even that we had even things planned for the Highland show this year where it was going to be fundraising um so like yeah that's going forward from this we're definitely going to have, have this to look forward to um, and it's a chance to, to all meet up again, isn't it? Good stuff, yeah. You'll be looking forward to making the best young farmer memory of your life, I'm sure. Yeah. Finally, uh, Christy, how do you think as a team you'll prepare this year um, for the fundraising aspect? So um, at the beginning, um, as a team, we we decided um, to both fundraise as a team and individually, um, just to maximise the, the fundraising options and get as much money together as possible and raise awareness for the different charities. Um, as a team, we were looking to um, stick with um, different events that we found were successful in the past with our different clubs. So um, things like a silent auction, um, we, Stuart had mentioned that, um, hosting a barn dance um, and Sally was um, potentially going to be hosting a open farm Sunday kind of event. So, and um, then the usual kind of bingo nights um, and uh, raffles, things like that were all suggested as well. So um, hopefully with the restrictions easing, we can do as many events as possible. Good stuff. Best of luck guys, best of luck team for your fundraising, but also um, for the climb itself and the, the time comes next year. We so look forward to keeping, uh, keeping up to date with your progress. So all the very best from Young Farmers, SAYFC.
thanks to you all and goodbye. We'll have a wee wave. Goodbye. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Right, that's it. I'll stop recording it.